Now how show you how you give old brickwork a new look by repointing the mortar joints. But there is another way. It's more traditional. That's the kind of finish you get, and it's called tuck pointing. Like repointing, the old mortar has to be first raked out between the bricks. But unlike the quick pointers, who used an electric router, on this job, the old-fashioned raking tool works fine. Then the surface is blasted with water to remove the residual mortar and dry. The entire process is very hands-on and requires a skilled tradesman to do it properly. Paul Noble learned the art of tuck pointing back in his hometown of Manchester. So, Paul, what's the difference between repointing and tuck pointing? Repointing is the process of just replacing the, uh, the old mortar with a new mortar mix and just finishing it. Tuck pointing is putting in uh, a self-coloured mortar similar to colour of the bricks and superimposing a white line on top. As you can see, Paul's trying to colour match the new mortar as close as he can to the original brickwork. Now that that's done, we're ready to put the white lines on top of that mortar and when it's finished, your eyes will focus on the new straight, horizontal and vertical lines. The white mix is applied using a level board and a tool called a joiner. This is when skill and patience is required. It's deliberate and time-consuming, much different to the modern technique used to repoint. Then the edges are cut and cleaned using a Frenchman. A bit of touch-up work and some brushing to remove any leftovers, and the job's finished. The tuck pointing is basically cosmetic, but it does give old ragged and chipped brickwork a great new look. Definitely a plus if you're thinking of selling. It's also a slow and tedious process, which means a house like this one can take up to three weeks to finish. Because of the time and cost involved, about $100 per square metre, most people stick with tradition and only tuck point the front and back of the house.